It may seem odd, a chef without a restaurant, but Sam Four has managed to make a name for herself both here in Lexington and across the country with her southern-style Sri Lankan cuisine. Mm, sounds tasty. Krista Spadaccini is in studio to tell us how Sam is ready to shake things up, finally settling down. Paul, you are right. Absolutely tasty. She made chicken curry for us. I'm still thinking about it. It was absolutely delicious. Can't wait to try more when she opens her first brick and mortar restaurant this summer. In the meantime, she's staying busy though, cooking in kitchens from coast to coast, including, like I said, that special stop here at Fox 56. All right, we are ready to cook, my dear. No passport is required for a taste of Sri Lanka. I like to describe Sri Lankan food as like the love child of the best flavors of Indian food and Thai food. Chef Sam Four has been serving up Asian cuisine with a touch of Southern spice since 2016. I cook what tastes good and what I like. Quickly earning a name for herself locally through her pop-up Tuk Tuk Sri Lankan Bites. There we go, much better. But she didn't stop there. Her unique style earned her a spot on Food Network's hit show, Beat Bobby Flay. And more recently, she was named a semi-finalist for one of the most prestigious awards in the culinary arts. I don't think any of us had any idea that a James Beard nomination was even on the horizon. I mean, it's like the Oscars of food. For won't know if she's a finalist for the award until next month. In the meantime, she's keeping busy. Charleston, Napa, Florida. And then I come home to build a restaurant. After years on the road, Four is ready to cook in her own kitchen. She's going to stay right here in the bluegrass. I mean, I got married because of Kentucky basketball. The Tuk Tuk snack shop will serve her signature spices and fan favorites to go. A decision she says she made because of the pandemic. It really showed that we can't focus on dine right now. Four hopes to create a collaborative kitchen, a place where sous chefs can learn and everyone is encouraged to dish out their ideas drawing inspiration for the restaurants she loves right here in her old Kentucky home. And that's what I love about it. And that's why I keep on coming back. Sam says she'll start looking for restaurant staff in a few months. Around that time, there will also be a ceremony in Chicago to celebrate the winners of the 2023 James Beard Award. Hopefully she's juggling the two. And also if you're hired at a restaurant, bring some leftovers here to Fox 56 because they know the two of them really want to try some. I'm Chris Spadaccini, Fox 56 News.